All right, and this is a big one. I'm very, very, very happy to introduce the new, whole new maintenance app in 41. So we're releasing in 41 as a preview, um, and the elements that you see highlighted in red here are the ones that are, that are available now, the data elements. Uh, but it is on continuous release, and um, so we'll be bringing out more modules over this year before 42, so keep your eye out. But as Marcus introduced at the start, this is really about going back to the code, making sure the foundation is strong so that we can update this app a lot more quickly, we can be more responsive to changes, and um, make sure that the, the whole app supports everybody's needs more quickly. So you can see the, the data entry forms um, that are for creating data elements is all, all refreshed. There's a lot more information, there's a lot neater, there's more options for present, presenting it, a lot more modernized. But it's not just a like-for-like -like, um, replacement. We have also added some, some often requested and, and good new features. Um, so you can filter your data elements by data set now as an option for filtering. And you can also update um, sharing in bulk. So you can filter by data set, filter, make, create your filters, select all of the data elements and update the sharing at once. So I'll just open up the maintenance app and we can have a look at that. It's quite simple. Filter by a data set, select all, update the sharing, select the group you want to update it to, and their access level, add to actions and update. So again, if you've got a lot of, <laughs> thank you, I know this has been a pain point for a lot of people. So if you've got a lot of, lot of elements that you need to change at once, that's a few clicks rather than a lot of repetitive clicking in and out. So hopefully that helps. But like I said, this app's on, the maintenance app is on continuous release, so keep an eye out for more updates. We'll really see more modules, and we'll keep you updated when we, we can get that up. Um, it is available from the App Store, so when you install 41, you go to the App Store and download the new maintenance app. 